Morning ladies and gentlemen. So some of you have maybe seen my motor vlog from yesterday where I went into Edinburgh and I went to the Machine Mart and used my discount card to get some uh, tools for the engine rebuild project. Well I said in that um, motor vlog that I would uh, make another video actually uh, to show the tools uh, that I bought. Um, so here it is. Um, these are the tools. Right, so um, these are the things that I bought. These cost me about around about ninety pounds after the discount. So I've got a few different things here. Um, we've got the uh, Clark piston ring pliers for removing piston rings. That's pretty much essential. Can't do without that. Um, they were about less than five pounds, four pounds something. Um, Pretty self-explanatory really, not much really you can say about that, it's just use them to remove the the piston rings from the pistons, which we will see at some point when I get to that stage. Um, here we've got um, valve grinders, um, these are used for uh, regrinding the valves. I don't actually know for sure that I'm going to be doing that, but this was only about a fiver so I just took a chance on it. If I need to regrind the, the valves then I've got that. Um, by the way, I'm not actually going to unbox these things. Reason is, is that I'm wanting to keep them all packaged to keep them in nice, nice clean condition until I'm ready to use them. Uh, so one of the other things that I got was uh, this valve grinding paste. Um, so you, you've got two grades. You've got fine and coarse. Coarse from one end and fine from the other. Uh, I'm not sure what the brand of this is. I can't see a brand on that, but anyway that's that so again I won't necessarily be using that depends whether I do the valves or not but if I do come to do the valves then I've got it so um, then we've got this um, which is called a boa constrictor um, I think I mentioned this in the motor vlog um, basically it's like a rubber grip used for kind of multi-purpose it's kind of used for household things plumbing and what have you um, my plan is to use it um, to hold the clutch while I break the clutch nut, the clutch centre nut uh, loose. So that's the clutch there. Um, obviously I can't show you exactly what I'm talking about until I come to do it. But I think you probably get the idea. You just put the strap around the clutch and hold it. Uh, hold it with one hand and break the nut loose with another. If I can't manage to do that then I'll need to get somebody to help me with it. Um, and that brings me on to... Another tool I bought, um, a breaker bar. I've had a breaker bar for years, um, two foot long breaker bar which I bought years ago I think in Halfords or something and it did very well um, but then recently when I was working on a car um, I broke it, I snapped the end off um, like completely cleanly snapped across that bit and obviously it's completely useless now so that's thrown away so I needed a new breaker bar so I've got this one here uh, this is a Clark again, so I got this VAT free. Um, so that was like 1799. Um, I think it's it's something like 600 mil long. It's a bit actually a bit longer than the one I had before, so it should give loads of leverage for for undoing things that are really high torque. Um, so, for example, breaking loose the uh, the clutch nut, it'll be ideal for that type of thing, um, and it's really nice quality as well. Uh, chrome vanadium which is basically like extremely tough stuff I'm not a metallurgist but um, I'm pretty sure that's like about as strong as you can get um, so really pleased with that worth every penny I think I'm sure I'll get years of use out of it um, and then we've got the gasket scraper um, which is for scraping paper gaskets off the uh, engine casings and valve covers and what have you. Um, you could get sets of them or you could get a single one. I just bought a single one. don't think I really need a set to be honest. I think that should be perfectly adequate. Um, so that will be handy when I come to remove the gaskets. Um, and then I also got a heat gun. Now, to be honest, I wasn't really sure whether a heat gun was the right thing to get because the idea of the heat gun is to um, heat any bolts that are seized in, um, you know, to kind of break them loose, 
to be honest, I don't know whether a heat gun will actually do that. Uh, most people on YouTube uh, that break things loose, that you know, use heat to break things loose, tend to use either like a traditional kind of blow lamp or um, or some kind of induction heater or what have you. I don't know whether a heat gun will really do it, but it was only I don't know what was it, 15 quid. So I just thought I'll take a chance on it. And if I come to a bolt that's that's seized in, I'll give it a bash and we'll see if that does it. That'll be a kind of like interesting experiment to see if a heat gun can remove a seized bolt. Um, and then the last thing, this is the most expensive thing that I bought. This is the Clark um, 46 piece harmonic balance pulls puller set. It's basically for removing uh, flywheels and pulleys and things like that. Um, so that gives you a picture of it there. You probably get to see it in use at some point um, when I come to remove the the pulley. Um, well, sorry, actually, it's not a pulley in this case. It's the the magnetic part of the alternator. Um, but the Haynes manual says you need a pulley puller to remove that. So that is my pulley puller. Um, I don't actually know how you use it, but I'll follow the Haynes manual and figure it out. Uh, that was about 20, that was 22 pounds, excluding that, 21.99. And again, I apologise for not un unboxing it, um, but I'm wanting to leave it in its packaging, really, um, to kind of keep it good condition and not lose any of the parts or anything before I start using it. But, I mean, you'll probably see all these tools in action fairly shortly anyway, over the next couple of weeks or whatever. Um, so that was it, really. I spent about, like I say, about 90 quid, something like that. Um, so it's quite a good deal. It's worth mentioning actually uh, for anyone who buys tools on a regular basis it's worth being on the uh, the Machine Mart mailing list because if you get on their mailing list and they send you their catalogues then every now and then you get a discount card uh, which will give you like 10% off or VAT free or something over a weekend. I've had these cards on a number of occasions and they're, they're quite useful so really recommend Machine Mart and uh, recommend getting on their mailing list to get the better deals if you can. So that's pretty much it. Um, the next video I'm going to do will be uh, removing the clutch plates from the engine. So I'm going to um, get the clutch plates out and uh, we'll have a look at the clutch. I might get that done this afternoon, but we'll have to see. But um, thanks very much for watching. And as always, like, subscribe, comment and share with as many people as possible. Thanks very much. See you later.